Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build this lucky block. Now, I'm sure you've heard of the mod called Lucky Blocks. Well, I tried to recreate that using redstone and here it is. So what happens is when we pop in an emerald at the top here, so we'll place one into the hopper there, we will get dispensed a random item from the lucky block here. So as you can see, I was a bit unlucky there and I got a poppy. Let's try that again. Let's see what we get this time. Oh, we got a diamond axe. So it is worth it to put in one emerald to see what you get. Uh, what's this one? Did that just, oh no, iron chest plate. Ooh, we're getting a little bit lucky here. Let's pop in one more. Oh, iron boots. Now this is completely configurable. You can decide what type of item you want the person to pay and what items that they will get back from it. Now I'm gonna show you guys how you can build this. So the materials that you are going to need is three redstone dust, one redstone torch, one redstone repeater, one redstone comparator, one dropper, five hoppers, five normal chests, one glass block, and 64 blocks of your choice. Now if you want to decorate this nicely, you're also going to need 43 gold blocks, 44 yellow stained clay, and 20 stone buttons. So the first thing that we're going to do is build a 3x3 grid of our blocks of choice here. So let's go 1, 2, 3, and then just do two more layers behind that. On this first block here, or on this first row here in the middle, we're going to place down our dropper facing forward. On top of that dropper, we're going to place a chest, so jump at the same time while crouching, then right click. We're then going to place a hopper on top of this chest, and again, crouch, jump, then right click. We then want to place a hopper going into the front of this, so again, crouch, right click the front. Do the same with the glass here in front of the dropper, so place that there. To the side of this dropper, we're going to place a hopper going into it, and then we're going to place one at the back here, and then one going in to the top of it. We're then going to place a chest on this hopper here, and then one to the right. We're going to do the same on top of this one, so one here, then one to the right. Behind this chest here, we're going to place a block. Then another one, and then we want to place one to the left of this block at the end here. We're going to place a comparator on top of this first one, coming out of the uh, coming out of this hopper here. We're going to lead that into a piece of redstone dust and place one on top of there as well. We're going to place a block going down one in front of this block here and place a redstone repeater on top of that facing towards the front. Place redstone down on this block down here. Block on top. Redstone torch on top of the block there. And that is it for the construction. It's a really simple design. It's in a 3x3 area, so that is really easy to build. Now we're going to configure it. So what you're going to need is an anvil, 64 blocks of your choice, and then two of the items that you want to use as the payment. And it must be an item that can stack up to 64, such as emeralds. So you want to place down your anvil, and what you want to do is rename the cobblestone or your 64 blocks of choice to a random string of characters. So include some um, special symbols, then uppercase and lowercase. We don't want anybody to be able to guess this. So once you've renamed that, what we're going to do is come around the back here. Oh, <laughs> okay. I basically, I just want to access this hopper at the top here above this chest here. So right click that hopper there. So put your emeralds in the first slot and then in the remaining slots, we're going to put five of each of these blocks in them. So one, two, three, four, and five. So it should look something like that. And then it's just a matter of simply filling up these chests here with items that you want to give to the player. So usually you would put in good and bad items because it's a lucky block. You want to have the opportunity to be lucky and then sometimes you won't be lucky and you'll get a bad item. So make sure you mix it up a little bit. Now at that point in the tutorial where I'm going to teach you guys how this works and it's very simple. So if we come up to the top here, this here is the payment system. In this case, I've used emeralds. So if someone was to put an emerald into this hopper here, this hopper here can push it, push the item 
into this hopper here because it is an emerald. Now why we've renamed the cobblestone here to a random string of characters is simply so if someone does throw in cobblestone, it's not going to ruin the system. They actually have to have a cobblestone block named exactly that and I highly, date, highly doubt they will. Now currently there is 22 items in this hopper in total. If there is actually 23, what's going to happen is this comparator here is going to send out a signal strength of 2. Now currently it's only sending out 1, but when it sends out 2, what it's going to do is it's going to power this repeater here, which then turns off this torch and allows one of these emeralds to go back down, and this resets to 22 items. Down below here, we're actually, well this redstone repeater is powering this block, which turns off this torch, but also powers this redstone down the bottom here, and this dispenses the item out of the dropper. Over the other side here, this is really simple. This is simply just refilling this dropper up here. So whenever there's a free slot in this dropper, it's going to take the item from this hopper here, put it into it, um, and we've just got kind of like a little backlog of items here. So if you want this to be kind of long term, you can put a bunch of items into these chests and over time you'll generate a lot of money. So that's how it works. It's really simple and hopefully you understood my explanation. Now we're going to decorate this to make it look like an actual lucky block. So let's go ahead and what we're going to do is do a border around the bottom here of the 3x3 grid with our yellow stained clay. On the corners here we're going to go up four blocks, so one, two, three, four, then place a button on the top. We're then going to create a bridge between these pillars here, so you put three in the middle there at the top. We're going to fill in the sides with our gold blocks. And we forgot to do the top. And then with our buttons, we simply just need to place them on the corners, so like that. And then on the top ones as well. And there we have it. Now if you wanted to get real fancy, you could create a banner that has a question mark. I'm sure people have designed that out there, which you could put on the sides of these to make it look even more like a lucky block, but I'm not going to do that in today's video. So that is going to end off this tutorial today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any ideas for redstone tutorials, let me know down in the comments below and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with my latest tutorials as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.